Hello friends. Today we are going to start to learn about stack data structure and its visualization using Excel VBA. Now, as you know, stack queues, all, all these are actually very important data structures and they can be implemented either by arrays or linked list. Initially, the concept uh, is not understood by most of the students. Uh, I can recommend you that this channel, right? This NASO Academy, NASO Academy, they have good uh, videos on uh, C language, C++ and many other computer science topics and obviously on data structure. So instead of me explaining you everything about this data structure, I will give this link, give these links in the comment section of this uh, um, video and you can go through this video to understand the uh, concepts be behind stack and uh, stack queues all this data structure but however i can very quickly uh, give you an idea about this uh, data structure so it's it is called a uh, last in first out data structure it means suppose uh, you uh, this is a pile of books okay so if you um, actually have to um, place a new book, you will place it on the top. And if you want to remove a book, you will remove from the top. So the last item added in the stack actually is removed first. So this data structure can be illustrated by various animation all, and all this stuff. And they have given some of the examples here. And while you uh, will be going through the uh, full video, you will understand it. Uh, in a more detailed. Now they have uh, implemented the um, data structure, static data structure using arrays and they are trying to explain the importance of this top variable and uh, uh, how we control the index and this index uh, at the top variable uh, it decides that the item that we are going to push into the stack uh, in exact what index it is going to be pushed something like that. So once you have this idea then came back to my video and from there you can actually understand uh, my video very well. Okay. Now I have implemented a uh, Excel macro based uh, simulator for stack and stack here right now. Now as you see there are two main operation in stack. One is push. So push is a person which uh, actually adds a item to the stack. So suppose my stack is from here to here. So the lowest index is 0 and the highest index is 9. So total 10 items can be added into the stack. Right now initially the pointer, it, it is uh, in the video as, as it is said, it is the top pointer. Right now it is uh, at uh, minus 1 like here, right? So it means, it, it means that uh, now our stack is empty. So there is no uh, data stored right so once i click the push button a item is added into the stack my top variable is also set to the index 0 right now that way i can change uh, and change this uh, value and add new items here right so as i see that items are added on on top of each other so this is push option now, when you pop, now this push operation needs a data that which number I want to add into the stack, but the pop does not need. Pop always remove that data which is on the top. So I don't have to provide any extra information like, like which number has to be removed, right? It is always removed from the top. So as I remove the item, uh, it is removed from the top, right? And, and as you see, the uh, this variable, the index is also reset, right? Now that way, if you, uh, now uh, there is only one item left, right? If you pop it again, uh, now the stack is empty and the index is um, minus one. Now, if you try to pop again, it says the stack is empty and can't perform the requested operation. So it throws an exception, right? So as you try again, similar message will come. But you can actually push it as many times as you want. If you want to change the value, you can change the value and push it, push it. But now if you try, as you see, it is already full. The stack is already full. If you try to push a, another number uh, and if you try, it says 
out of stack space it means that stack is full kind of thing right so you cannot do it you cannot push the items right but you can pop right so all this thing i have implemented using excel vba now how to write code in excel vba uh, obviously for that i have to create separate videos here i am just going to show you that how easily we can use excel vba to simulate this kind of logic okay now as you see suppose i want to restart the simulation so i have to clean everything i have to reset the top point or something like that so if you just click any seat and go come back and it will automatically reset i could have given a separate button for resetting but i have done it right now that way now to get into the development environment that is vb editor you can go with like developer tab and then visual basic or you can right click on any excel sheet and click view code you will reach here now as you see here actually uh, if i click the push button this event on push is called and if i click the pop button and this on pop i will not say event but this is a button event handler actually how i have set it these are kind of actually macros and i can set these macros like this so uh, it is set to right now on the push on push and similarly the pop one so this will go for example when i push this data say 20 it is in row 3 column 3 it is read from that uh, into the data uh, and this data is actually sent to the push function similarly when i click the pop button it is popped now what is s s is a actually object of the stack class yes visual basic uh, that is VBA, Visual Basic for Application, is not fully object oriented, but it is said that is object, uh, uh, object. It is not fully object oriented, but it has some features of uh, object oriented. So you can create class. You can create class like I have created a stack class here, and it, it does not have a proper uh, uh, constructor, but it has similar thing uh, like initializing some values in uh, when the class gets initialized um, is its object is created right it is called class initialize and i have written two functions like push and pop so i have handled so if in normal scenarios if you are pushing some data what will be the uh, sequence uh, of uh, execution steps will be like that and uh, when it is full so it will raise an event so saying kind of that uh, stack overflow uh, on the other hand if it is empty uh, it will say stack is empty and it will raise an, another exception right so this kind of functions i have written in the stack class so once the stack class is ready you can actually uh, call the functions uh, from any other client you can say this this method uh, this actually excel sheet is a client for this stack class and you can call the functions here so this will work now one interesting thing is now suppose i have a macro uh, because as you see to execute these programs you have to click these buttons but suppose you don't want to click this button and you want to automate a batch process right now you don't want to click it manually suppose you want to add few numbers and then pop and test right so you can actually just run it and you get the result as you see 10 uh, sorry 4 items are added 10 20 30 40 and the uh, uh, 40th item is removed by the pop operation that's why we have only 10 20 30 only here right now let us restart it again and try to debug it right put a debug point here and do debugging using shift shift f8 you can uh, uh, actually execute one statement at a time now our cursor it has uh, in the line where i said s dot push 10 now this is this line is not yet executed is going to be executed right so when this line is executed now as you see now my pointer goes to zero index and now 10 is added here now if i execute another statement 2 is pushed uh, sorry 20 is pushed 30 is pushed 40 is pushed now when i press another F, F, shift f8 this line pop will be executed and the 40 uh, item uh, for uh, the, the uh, item with the 40 number 40 will be removed from the stack okay so that way you can run some commands in a batch now suppose you want to add the numbers 
uh, in a for loop say for example for i equal to 1 to 5 or something like that and you try to add these numbers right next i okay before running this let us reset it okay now try to run it so if you run five items uh, and then pop it right something like that it is working right but if you try to add 15 items what will happen now see i have only 10 items the capacity is 10 now if i try to add 15 items what will happen let's see it is except giving an exception calling it out of tag space and it actually kind of stop right if you try it again let me set it and try it again and if you go to debug it is uh, as it is trying to push the 11th item as you see the 11th i equal to 11th right it means uh, so far that is up to 10 there is no er error but when the i is 11 it cannot push it because the stack is full so that's it for this uh, video i hope you got the basic idea how the uh, stack data structure uh, works okay the main two operation push and pop there are some other operations like for querying operations like is full is empty um, means to get the uh, item on the top there are some few other auxiliary functions are there but the major two items uh, functions are push and pop that i have tried to implement it using vba right in excel vba now normally uh, this can be implemented uh, in uh, c language or c plus plus or some other object oriented programming like c sharp or um, java right uh, probably those videos you will find in internet and i may also create at some point of time but i don't think you will find any such simulator developed using excel vba right so i hope uh, this video helps you to clear your idea about stack data structure and hope uh, you will be interested to learn both uh, Excel VBA and data structure as a subject. Uh, if you are interested to learn, you can communicate me through WhatsApp. Uh, the number you will find in the description of the video. Thank you.